Hello everyone, today is Tuesday, June 22nd. I am your host, Vault Matrix, and today we have got some killer news, some absolutely amazing news. So let's go ahead with Transformers Generation Shattered Glass Collection Gold Bug Revealed. Okay, I'm just pulling your leg. That isn't the huge news. But we kind of figured that something was coming for Shattered Glass Bumblebee. In this case, it's Goldbug. And I can't believe they went with the Cliff Jumper mold. I mean, come on. And I'm not into this figure at all. I am just not into it. I would have been much more impressed if they went with the Transformers Energon Hotshot mold and did something cool with that. But no, it's just a repaint of a figure that's okay, and eh, meh. I, I'm not feeling it. I'm if you, if you haven't guessed by now, I am totally not feeling it. I'm with TJ Omega. I think this is a swing and a miss. I don't like it. No, sir, I don't like it. All right, next story. Mastermind Creations Ocular Max PS25 Insertus G1 Groove. We got some images of this. This is the the uh, ma uh, Mastermind Creations Defensor, and I they've already either released or announced their Streetwise, and the group looks pretty good. The only thing I'm not oh no no uh, I think that this and something else third party got announced today where the they were both grooves and the backpack wasn't very good but this one looks good i i like the look of this i am not the biggest defensor fan i never have been in fact i've never really liked defensor but this looks pretty darn good so i'm hoping we get to see all the figures soon at least this year that'd be nice all right, there's no beating around the bush anymore. Transformers Rise of the Beasts. That is the name of Transformers 7, and it is in production. It's going to be dropping on June 24th, 2022, and wow, there was a lot of interesting information dropped today. So here are... Oh, I, one of my USB devices is no longer recognized. Sorry about that. Uh, okay, Rise of the Beasts. Paramount Films, Sky, Sky Dance Pr Productions, Don Murphy and Tom DeSanto Production. Uh, D. Bonaventura is producing again, and I, I really don't like that dude. I don't. But what are you gonna do? It's Hollywood. We, the only image that was revealed is this: the actual logo, Transformers: Rise of the Beasts. And I'm saving that picture. I think it's a great name. I really do. Now, what else news-wise came out about it? Well, there was some news about, well, other than the official announcement. Uh, so we're going to get into some spoilers here. So if you don't want to know anything about the rest of the movie, stop watching now. But there was a ton of information revealed. We're going to go ahead and get into it. Okay. So... We're going to be talking about, or in this movie, we're getting Maximals, Predacons, and Terrorcons. So Terrorcons are their own faction, and they are not friendly with the Predacons. The Terrorcons are the main bad guys. Predacons are reptilian in nature and are the enemies of the Maximals, and the Maximals are mostly mammals. So who's going to be in the movie? Well, we have a character rundown. First off, Optimus Prime, we knew that was coming. He, this is the one thing that I really don't like about what I'm seeing here. He's the lead character in this movie, and it's about him coming into love with the Earth. Uh, he's got roughly the same look, but with a gray torso, gray windshield flaps, gray upper shoulder parts that lead into the smokestacks. Peter Cullen, Peter Cullen is reprising the role of the voice. Bumblebee's back. He's a Camaro with off-road extensions. Second gen 70s Camaro, raised Z28 badging, external framing, chunky wheels, light bar on the top, a la ratchet. So he's getting a brand new look. Most likely he'll start off at the, as the Camaro he was at the end of the Bumblebee movie and that we saw from Proto Man earlier. And then he'll show up again. Mirage. Mirage is a blue and silver Porsche 911. Man, this poor Jazz just cannot get any love. He's anti-authority, can transform into multiple types of vehicles? 
Weird. Okay. RC. RC is in the movie, and she's going to be a Ducati 916 uh, motorcycle. Rose, uh, pink, with white headlights. Classic head, Ducati bike, racing number on the leg. We're getting Nightbird. Nightbird is going to be in this movie, and she is a Nissan GTR, which is odd because I thought the Nissan GTR was a was a 2000s vehicle. Uh, I have to look this up. Oh, right. I forgot to mention, this whole movie takes place in 1994. Yeah, 1994. So, uh, 1990s, uh, 1990s Nissan or Nissan GTR. So what does that look like? Oh, okay. That, that could be very cool as Nightbird. I, I am okay with that. I, I am okay with that. Uh, okay. Now getting into some of the beasts. Scourge is the leader of the Terracons. He's a trophy hunter. He's like locked down in Age of Extinction. Uh, when he kills, he rips off the faction symbol and tattoos it onto his body. So this is weird. Four smokestacks on the back, all smoking, claw hand with electricity, black and gray tone with orange pops. Not black convoy looking, but probably a truck due to smokestacks in the art. Very possible. That would be very interesting. More like, I'm thinking more of like a Toxitron. That could be very inter interesting. I'm really interested to see what this is. I also have a thought of, well, I have some thoughts. Him having a giant crab claw arm makes me think of the Wild Wild West movie from Will Smith back in the 90s. That awful, awful movie. Here's a Lego version of it. I've been, tr <laughs> been trying to find a better picture of it, but doesn't seem to ex or one does not seem to exist other than this tiny little image oh the giant metal tarantula from wild wild best i don't know why i thought of it like a giant crab monster or steampunk crab monster um i was specifically thinking of uh like the body the back of a locomotive with with uh, steam, or I'm sorry, smokestacks, the body of crab, and then the head of a dragon. I don't know why that popped into my head when I initially read that description. That's just me being weird. But cool, Scourge is the leader. Next up, Air Razor, robotic bird, rusty bird mode, steampunk-esque. Silhouette is very real world, but plate layered. Um, looking forward to that. Rhinox, obviously a giant metal rhinoceros plated also steampunk and rusty oh yeah the maximals are supposed to be ancient like really old which is weird and optimus primal yeah optimus primal so that artwork that we saw years ago specifically this artwork is what they're referring to but then according to the description here it's going to have like more fur He's the leader of the Maximals, very protective of those who are under his protection. You don't mess with Primal. Kind of like, I I would be very reminiscent if he just, if he doesn't say, well, that's just Prime. Then we get to the humans. Uh, Dominique Fishback is playing El Elena. She's a researcher of artifacts, works in a museum. And then there's Anthony Ramos, who plays Noah. He's a father figure, a father figure to brother, ex mil father figure to brother. I don't know what that means, but he's from... Uh, he's from New York. He's from, he, yeah, he's from New York. So the thing I'm a little uh, worried about, especially with the Ele Elena or Elena, works in a museum, boss keeps stealing her thunder. Uh, can they maybe not do that trope? That would be really nice if they didn't do that. And maybe just have her be... I don't know, an intelligent woman with respect with respectful co-workers, respected co-workers. And I'm really, really hoping they don't oversex her up like they did the female lead from the last night. Or one or the female scientist from the first movie. Or any other secondary female characters from any of the movies. Can we have can we can we not have that? That'd be really nice. Anyway, 
Beast War Beast characters. That's awesome. I have a feeling we'll get more characters. Maybe. I really hope they actually spend the time to give these characters character. That would be great, as opposed to Roar, I'm blah blah blah. He's dead five minutes later. Rise of the Beasts. Great name. A little weird, but a great name. That was leaked a couple months ago. Next year, 2022, summer 2022. I'm looking forward to it. Let me know what you all think of it. Let me know what all of you think. Please let me know what you think of this down in the comments. I want to hear your opinions on it. Thank you so much for watching. I have been Ball Matrix, and I'll catch you tomorrow.